Oh guys, today we are seeing a four axle trailer we made for African market. Do you remember last time we were talking about the package, uh, three units, one package over there, like that one. And we, we talked about the tanks. So there are so many tanks, we cannot uh, put all those tanks in the space between those three units, one package ones. So we will make one trailer like this and put those tanks inside of the trailer and then we put the canvas on top of it to cover it and then fasten it. And nobody would know what inside the client could get the tanks outside once it arrives. In the front we have uh, the ladders and uh, the canvas Bucket, we can also call it trampoline bucket. Same as all other trailers. We can connect in line, electricity socket, and we have a key pin here. Twist lock over there. Watch it. Rope hook. And then we also have the removable bulk head in the front. This is the drop side with those one, two, three, four, four hinges. And the fence opening from the rear to the front in the top. And post, someone call it sanctions. I really have no idea how to call it. If you know the answer, please uh, teach, uh, teach me. Here is the reflector. Uh, bumper to protect uh, the drop side when it uh, goes down. Here we have uh, the landing gear right here and the operation side is the left side here. So the way we tell the left and right side is we face to the front of the trailer. Our left hand would be the left side of the trailer. Okay, here is the huge fuel tank we were talking about at the beginning. So this tank is usually for the African market because those trailers are running not only in one country, but uh, some of time two or three countries. So they need a huge of these tanks to store the diesel or gasoline or fuel, most of the time diesel, to travel. Outside is uh, the side protection. Here we, same as... Uh, the last video we have a one bag suspension in the front we have a leaf sp leaf spring suspension at the rear three axle so there is one axle we can lift it up here is the suspension hanger this is the suspension hanger this is a uh, suspension hanger pin we usually call it uh, equalizer pin because the equalizer is fixing with the pin the suspension hanger. Okay, the suspension hanger is connecting a uh, talk arm. We call it talk arm in this side and the other side. And also the equalizer connecting with the leaf spring over there. So you can see in this side we have no talk arm. So talk arm only in the front, like here. Wherever we go to the front, we see the talk arm. See? Uh, the, they have, there are many ways to uh, install the tow arms. You see, this one is uh, is uh, adjustable, and that one is adjustable. And this one is fixed. The reason we would have this is because we need to keep the axle in one line. If the axle is a little bit slide, then the tire would consume very fast. Not real mechanic. So axle is not uh, in one line, and they can mm, they can adjust it here and they change the position of the axle as long as they understand what they are doing. To the rear, we can see we made an opening door in the rear. We have uh, the locking bars, four locking bars at the rear, and uh, you need to open that one first. 
and open this one and then open open them both of them then turn it to 90 degree then here and there would open then the door you can open the right door to the right and then you can open the left door to the left what i'm seeing okay sorry about it we have a two spare tire carrier at the rear you can see it's a green color it also has a ratchet over here you can see so whenever you put uh, the spare tire at the bottom this uh, little piece of beam would uh, fix your tire on top of it this is the rear of the trailer and the bottom of the trailer we never talked about the uh, rear protection rear guard the rear protection is preventing the small cars runs to the tire uh, on the way on the highway there is a regulation requires the height from uh, the bottom of the bottom of the rear protection to the ground is not less than 450 millimeter and also the regulation would require us to put uh, the reflector uh, plate and the triangle reflectors uh, on it to indicate other drivers to see it quite clear but the license plate would uh, face uh, the critical situation to different countries because many countries would have a different size of uh, the license plate so they probably would uh, redo the holes on top of it and not like the same like china okay what are we were talking okay the bottom the bottom of the trailer we can see the this is uh, the slick adjuster the slick adjuster is connecting with the, this uh, uh, camel shift the camel shift would uh, turn if the air chamber push the slick adjuster and the slick adjuster would push the camel shift to the inside and adjust the slick <laughs> that's why we call this one slick adjuster so the, when the slack is getting bigger, the braking pad is touching the drum on the bottom and on the top. So the trailer starts to uh, braking. This is the king. Uh, this is the leaf spring. In the front, we can see uh, it's the same as all the other trailers. And here is also the same. This side, and we have. Uh, Two box in the right side of the trailer. Two box, and here is the operating handle for the front axle lifting. So you can lift it when it is necessary. You see, the three axle is connecting to each other, but it does not uh, connecting to the front axle because we put airbag suspension over here you can see the airbag suspension is totally different than the leaf spring suspension first we use the airbags to observe all the shaking all the uh, vibrations on the road and we put the safety cable here to prevent it. the airbag fills and then we have air chambers on it the others is the same those that one is the it has another one here we cannot see it from here that is the lifting device once you operate uh, that bar it would lift this trailer the pressure would go very very uh, very very low to suck this axle to the top then the tire would move to here and then not touching Okay, I, I believe that's all for today, and uh, I hope I did not uh, forget anything. If you like our videos, please uh, click the light, like button at the bottom. If you have any comments, please uh, give us a message or leave it below. Thank you very much. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.